What? We're back again and again and again. Return of the McCoppins. All right. Um, we talked about the poster. Mm-hmm. You had a good follow-up thought. What was the extra thought you had about the poster? The darkness? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so when we looked at the A New Hope poster, we could easily tell that Luke and Leia were on the light side and that like Darth Vader and the Death Star were on the dark side. But on the new poster, it just says in text, there's darkness and there's light, but they don't showcase what's darkness and what's light. I have no idea. No I, I found out more. Uh, it does take a place 100 years before um, the prequels. Mm-hmm. So Yoda... He's only 800 years old or whatever. Oh, He's still around. Yaddle, is it, is, is she's still around. A couple other Jedis who were a couple hundred years old, they should still be around. Mm-hmm. Darth Plagueis <laughs> should be around somewhere. So, uh, all right. So let me go ahead and share the screen of what we are looking at here. And let me do it this way. Let me do that. I'm more fun there. All right, cool. All right, so here's the first scene. Uh, make sure the caption turned on so we can talk about a few things. We'll go through the travel pause at key moments, but basically your first image of Star Wars TV show is an alien and a dude yeah, hanging out. All right, let's, let's actually let me make sure that we are sharing the uh, audio too. Mm. Share. Okay, cool. Uh, Who doesn't work, doesn't work, whatever. (laughs) All right, so we'll start and we'll go. Close your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. So we've got not much to work with you. That's fine. Uh, It's obviously a a youngling (laughs) Padawan school. Which was good. I want to see yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, good content. The only time we see that in the prequels, Yoda's having a class and teases Obi Wan for losing a planet. So, mm. <laughs> all right, so that's good. We must not trust them. Not sure. All right, so we got this. Looks not Star Wars. Star Wars. This is I don't know. It looks like the first scene in Aladdin. <laughs> it does. Fun it does. <laughs> it's the marketplace in Aladdin. That's awesome. Okay. So we have a lady. Now she's wearing purple. Normally, Star Wars is very clean on it. Black is evil, white and brown is good. Right. Mace Windu, purple lightsaber. So maybe this is yeah. like a Mace Windu connection. Maybe. Okay. He's, I mean, he's not alive yet. Like yeah. He's born or whatever. But... Tell me. All right. So this I found interesting. Yep. This classroom does not have a single Caucasian male in it. I found that very fascinating. It's it's odd. That that seems to be the primary fan base from the original trilogy. Yeah. It's Luke himself and Han and Obi Wan and all them. It's historically speaking. So I get it. I fine. Just it's just. It's 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 it's, it's very obvious. Like, yeah. You don't have one little white boy. <laughs> it's okay. It, maybe this is a, a, a special class of some sort, and there's, there's, a, there's a, a reason behind it. Maybe there's an actual reason yeah. behind it. So I'm not going to judge too hard by it. First glance, I'm like, man, where's they, they? They always talk about having diversity means having somebody you can relate with. All right, mine's gone. So I'll hang on to my Luke and Obi Wan. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's whatever. Just I just I saw that. I was like, okay. okay. What comes into your mind? Life. It's good. Balance. balance. How do you visualize balance? That's true. Because he just said, "Close your eyes." What do you see? Balance. I see a scale. <laughs> I just see balance. I know they talk about balance of the force. But okay, how do you visualize? I, I think if this was a real class, this is the girl who says what the teacher wants she wants to hear. Well, Hermione Granger. Yes, the little Hermione Granger. It's like, I see balance, Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore. <laughs> like, you don't see it. Ten I guess points Draco is the back saying, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I see fire. All right. So, young girl here behind. Poor squid guy can't close his eyes. Everybody's got their eyes closed. 
But the squid guy is costume. <laughs> I see the teacher. Uh, costume director, every mask needs to have eyes closed if the scene says, close your eyes. Yeah. That's it. Because the alien in the background has the yes, eyes closed. I still look fine. What's wrong with the squid dude? These are species I don't recognize either. No. Maybe new to Star Wars. I mean, I don't know 100% everything about Star Wars. The squid guy looks a little bit like the guys you find in the canteen. Not like... Oh, the guys playing the, the, the yeah. instruments? Yeah. The band, but the one in the back, I have no idea what that is. It's kind of like a... Yeah. Yoda, Chewbacca had a shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Chewbacca and uh, Jar Jar. <sighs> Somebody's going to write that fan fiction. <laughs> All right. So the little girl who sees fire, she's probably the bad guy. It's probably her as a kid. Yeah. So you might not know this. That's Carrie Ann Moss, who played Trinity in the Matrix. If you haven't seen Matrix, then you're not old enough. It's all already. But yeah, fine actress, does some really good work. Really liked the Matrix a lot. She's in other, other good movies. So I'm excited to see her in this. I want to see a Jedi. She's got the robot and everything. Very, very Jedi. I Using kung fu. Using kung fu. <laughs> so, quick relation. My daughter and I laugh. We are both black belts in Tang Soo Do, which is a legit, hard to get black belt martial art. Um, used most famously by Chuck Norris to win dozens of tournaments. Yeah. Uh, that's why I got famous because he made it awesome, and it's an awesome martial art. We tease kung fu because kung, kung fu the <laughs> very much good for the movies, yeah. not good in actual octagon fight <laughs> so but it's pretty but we brings to the question why would a jedi need kung fu yeah like where's your lightsaber <laughs> the force push yeah which he does use too. the end here open up with that yeah if i'm a jedi that's my, that's my first move force push <laughs> all right <laughs> slides not too injured but right. someone is killing jedi doesn't make sense. So, somebody's killing Jedi doesn't make sense. For all of history, there's always been people who rebel against authority figures. People shoot yep. cops, people shoot, you know, it's just, it's just, it's terrible, but it's the way things go. So, if the Jedi are the peacekeepers, the police of the old Republic, obviously there's gonna be people mad at them trying to kill them all the time. So, don't tell me it doesn't make sense. It's just somebody doesn't like the, the police peacekeepers. It, it happens, it just happens. Not right or wrong. It's just been forever the way it's been. It's just a thing. There's going to be rebellion. I love his very modern haircut. Like This yeah. is a haircut from 2020. And this is supposed to be a long time ago. Even a longer time ago in a galaxy far away. This guy's got the... Uh, a long, 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 long time Very, ago. very modern haircut. <laughs> That's it. All right. It doesn't look old. It doesn't look like old-fashioned. Like it came out yesterday. <laughs> this guy walking off the street, they put a robe on him. <laughs> yeah. lines. Some model they found. Hey, model. he's a good-looking dude. Yeah. Okay. Another thing you see the, the collection of Jedi here. Um, maybe one white guy. The bald, the guy with the bald spot here. That looks like the planet in Mando season three. No, in Ahsoka, where she finds what's his name, the guy she's trying to find the whole show. Oh yeah, the, the, the blue guy. Uh, that's his name. <laughs> I just forgot his name. But I remember she goes to the planet and she finds him in that like tribe. Yeah. It kind of looks like yeah. it. Oh, um, uh, 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 Elsa, Elias, um, Eli? No. Elijah? Elijah? Stop my tongue. Whatever. Okay. Well, go on. You guys know, comment <laughs> from Star Wars Rebels, the main star with the gun blast. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Especially with Eve. Yeah. 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 Uh, it'll, it'll hit me like in five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the same planet. Good observation. Yeah. Again, it could just be another planet. Looks wide variety of robe colors here too yeah. which maybe they explain that's different factions of jedi at the time but again very diverse it's like hard to understand that they're a team though like if they've got like you know the black yeah. robes and the light robes in like original movies i'm guessing kind of these are the kids that grew up in the first scene i'm yeah. guessing i don't know but we'll see here's the new wookie but he's got a haircut bald head <laughs> What you and he's got a, a like a vest on. Chewbacca never wore clothing. Not really. None of the just like a belt. Thing. Yeah, he had a, he had like the. Yeah. I always thought it was like bolts for his blaster yeah, yeah, yeah. or his crossbow. And then all the Wookies in the prequels with Yoda didn't wear clothing. So this this guy wears clothing. He's going against the grain. He's a he's a rebel Wookie. 
Lots of rebels <laughs> in this show. Maybe a hundred years ago, they wore clothing, and they said that's stupid because we're so hairy. <laughs> they stopped wearing clothing. What happened? I said so. convict. So, uh, word of advice, Disney: your subtitle shouldn't tell you the characters that they're bad or evil. Yeah. <laughs> convict. Oh, okay. I got to see the bad guy. So now we know. The teacher here is investigating something, it looks like, which yeah. Jedi's were known for doing. Yeah. And he's investigating, he mind tricks this dude. The... I sense the darkness. You're the girl, dude. I need the teacher. I almost feel like she kills the teacher and the students go on a revenge trip, maybe. Uh... I mean, that would be a good story. Disney. It's a good story there if if that's the base is the, the Jedi Master it's killed. He trained the kids when they yeah. were little. And she's one of his trainees. <gasps> yeah. See that that's the problem. That's a good story. They're not going there. <laughs> like the girl that says, I see fire. Yeah, she's like, the she goes up. So maybe. We'll see. Her. Okay. That'd be a good story, Disney. Oh, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> not I gave her a hint story. about this one. Every child who's ever watched Star Wars has done what at the supermarket? They, do, they open the door like Durr. the automatic door. Yep. Every child does this. I did it when I, I was still a kid. Do it. Still a kid. I, I'll, I'm, I, every once in a while, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. like the car window, you're like, yeah. and you pretend you have the force. Is this lady pretending to have the force? <laughs> yeah, because there's a control oh. panel right there, and she's like, Star Wars has long had automatic doors. Too. Yeah. It, this is this is dumb. This it is, doesn't this, make sense. This is, She's just trying to be dramatic. So dumb. This guy, this guy kind of the guy who played the Flash almost. Oh yeah. Like like I don't know, but like again, what's he? It's, a, it's not a great scene because there's no contact. He's just yeah. kind of peeking around the corner. That's you haven't seen him anywhere in the prior video. You know if he's hiding, he's following. Not a great. Talking somebody or not great. <laughs> Saw some more Jedi's there. I yeah. guess they're talking Chewbacca. That's, there's probably Chewbacca. Oh, Chewbacca oh, there's right, there. right there. Yeah. And there's Carrie Ann Moss, looks like maybe. A little fuzzy. That's a white guy. All right. We got a curly haired, like Luke. All right. All right. <laughs> These guys look evil back there. They got like yeah. bows and arrows, looks like. Wait, what? Look, look arrows. They're using bows what? and arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Lightsabers are no match for bows and arrows. If I know anything, nope. stormtroopers are no match for Ewoks with bows and arrows. Yeah. <laughs> So. so here's more of the carry on moss and the Kung fire Fu. girls fight. Kung Fu. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. What? Wrong, wrong movie. That's Marvel. That's, yeah. But Disney owns them both, so maybe this was like a costume from the new Black Panther movie they didn't use. But Disney owns them both, so maybe this was like a costume from the new Black Panther movie they didn't use. Like, hey, I got this costume for you. It's, Here's the storyline. Fits right in. Kyle's mom died and just goes to Star Wars. <laughs> That's what happened, guys. All right, so I had to get that out of so. <laughs> This isn't about good or bad. This is about power. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is not about good or bad. No. Then why are they fighting? Well, <laughs> Star Wars is dark versus light. Yeah. Light side, dark side. Good versus bad. It's always been about balance. You guys said balance right in the, in the video. And now, it's not about good or bad anymore. It's about power. So then where's the balance coming from? The new Disney's about morally great characters. They're not really bad. They're not really yeah. good. If they have a good reason to be bad. It's okay. yeah, yeah. They try to make the bad guys look good. If they're good, it's for selfish reasons. Everybody's yeah. morally great. That's yeah. not fun. That's just real life. I don't want real life. I want fantasy. <laughs> and who is allowed to use it? What is that? Um, that's a lightsaber. Yeah. I'm guessing that was a Jedi because she had the robe on. She doesn't know what a lightsaber is. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Well, I didn't pull out a lightsaber. So you have one. You don't right. recognize one. Like, if you're talking about the person, what do you think? Oh, yeah, that's another Jedi with a lightsaber, like me. So what do you not know? I mean, a better line is why is it red? Like, that'd be kind yeah. of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've yeah, never yeah, seen yeah, a red yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea. 
that would kind of explain the poster a little bit. Yeah, more. like this, this, the, 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 the little white pale person, the alien. What, yeah. She goes, "What is that?" This lady here. Yeah. What is that, Jackie? She's the one talking. He's maybe a new to be a Jedi. She's just recently out of school, yeah. recent graduate. They didn't talk about the Sith because the Sith been gone for nine hundred years at this point. Right. She'd never seen a red lightsaber. Instead of saying, "What is that?" Why is it red? Like, yeah. That's a better line. Why yeah. Is it red? Or, or a red one. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. A red like, one. What? Why is it like that? Yeah, because they've all got lightsabers. <laughs> yellow and green and blue. Yellow's kind of new. Yeah. I know in old EU legends there was. Um, the gray knights, half dark, half light, and they mm -hmm. they use kind of the yellow lightsaber. Oh, yeah. This is back in the novels, though, so they threw all that away. So whatever. Yeah, but that's, that's hasn't just, been in the movies. Hasn't been in the movies yet. So maybe I don't know. Maybe they explain the yellow ones. So I'm not going to judge that. <laughs> so the girl uses force push on the one girl, and she like easily like catches herself. One guy saw like seven people, and they're like, Probably, oh, no maybe Darth Vader level power. <laughs> now, here's a problem red. Red. Disney's logo is blue. Right. Are they saying Disney is the Sith now? Like, it was blue. Hey, your light side. Disney's gone. Oh, dark side. And then it lights up blue. Dark, That's good. Dark side plus. <laughs> that looks so creepy, too. All right, so what are your thoughts on the trailer? It just, it just, I don't know. It doesn't seem like Star Wars until the end. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the classroom setting, right. what I find interesting too, if this is 100 years before, why is everything so similar? Yeah. Because if you look at original trilogy and sequel trilogy, and then even like, prequels and sequels, so the vehicles, different. the clothing, so everything. And that's like a 16-year period and then like a 30-year period. Right. A lot has changed. Like yeah. A lot, a lot has changed. And this is 100 years before the prequels. It looks a lot like the prequels. Yeah. Like a lot. A lot. Like that looks like the classroom they used in the first movie. Yeah. If you look at like even the teacher, he's very much... I think the only thing that's different is maybe the belt is a little weird. They, yeah. Everybody has like this this weird cinch belt. This this little yeah. Everybody has that. Even like Carrie Ann Moss's character, she had it. The same kind of cinch belt. So a belt. little bit different, but still brown cloth robe, light colored cloth tunic. Yeah. It looks just like it. Looks just like it. And to the average person, I guess hundred years ago. I wouldn't think it would be a hundred years before. Yeah. I think it'd be like right before the prequels or something. Just think about our world. A hundred years ago. So Hoodies different. didn't exist. Yeah, <laughs> you know? they're everywhere. Nineteen twenty-four, like flappers. And I, I would, yeah, I would probably be in a shirt and tie right me. now. Yeah, it's, it's 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 very fascinating. Any other scenes you want to call out? Or the kung fu, of course, is just a little silly. It's just strange. Oh, silly. That scene though, where she fights the teacher, reminds me a lot of a scene in Ahsoka too, where like she's where the girl gets impaled. And surprise, it looks a lot like that scene too. Yeah, that's, yeah. The camera works. Everything's very dark. Mm -hmm. a, a lots in shadows. And then even the classroom like, scene is not that bright. Right. right. When it's oh, look! It's, it's the green lady, right? Wait. And that's the door. <laughs> Does she walk Girl. into the classroom like that? <laughs> Scare children. <laughs> wow. It's, it's kind of like Harry Potter when you're not supposed to waste your magic. Like. <laughs> Don't just evaporate all over the house because you can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's she's just using it. The force she's for whatever she wants. Using those midichlorians up. Oh my gosh. I hope um, the Wookiee is a Jedi. That'd be kind of cool. That would be fun. Yeah, I feel like, too, like, like you said, like the Ewoks use bonos because they don't have the force, but like people with the force don't use bonos. Yeah. That well, was kind of weird. It is fascinating. This poor guy, <laughs> the, the convict. Oh my gosh! Sad Chewy, whatever his name is. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I'm not it doesn't excited. get me excited in yeah. any way. So here's my theory: Yoda's going to show up, of course, because he's still alive. He's active. He's he's younger. He's better. He's he's probably like yeah. He's going to be like. He might even be the Jedi Council still at this time. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, but like. They'll probably have him show up in the next 
either the next trailer or the last trailer. They'll yeah. hint at you with it. They might even have a little, ooh, a little, yeah. a little creepy <laughs> laugh. They might just have to close out with that or something, something silly, you know? Uh, I can't do his laugh. I apologize. Yeah. Can, you, can you do his laugh? No. <laughs> can't do an old man alien his voice. Alien pervy <laughs> laugh he does. So, um, all right. Some ancient speeders going down here. Yeah. Just kind of like crash landed. I don't know, walking around. Interesting. That looks like a dude. I don't know. Okay. Who's she talking? Who's she trying to kill here? Right. So we saw all that. Um, I think something to consider is the quality of the bad guy. Um, yeah. Original trilogy, Vader. Uh, obvious threat from scene one. Killing people. The stormtroopers are a powerful army. Big threat. Um, pretty cool you had. Kind of like... Um, Darth Maul was a great villain. Try to kill him off pretty quick. But then Darth Sidious is there. Um, and Anakin kind of becomes the villain slowly. So that, that worked yeah. out well. Uh, Mandalorian, the yes. uh, first season had a great bad guy. That that, that creepy voice dude. Yeah. <laughs> Bring me the specimen alive. Mm. And then uh, Moff Gideon takes over from him. Another yep. for a while, compelling bad guy that kind of drops him off and he started the yeah. thing. But again. The quality of the show is about the quality of the bad guy. Ashoka actually had a pretty good set of bad guys. Um, they were a, introduced by the show up in the ship, the man and the girl. I can't remember their, their character names, you know, Ray Winston. They but don't really say them in the show. Much. They do a bad show. It's like Byron or Byron. Oh, like yeah. yeah. Um, uh, slaughter the, the people in the spaceship. Yeah. So, yeah. so the, he, he's more than a match for. Ashoka and lightsaber fight. So a compelling bad guy, which helped that show, I think. Uh, hopefully this guy, the guy who catches the red lightsaber. <laughs> hopefully he's a compelling bad guy. He looks he looks pretty powerful. Yeah. But I think that'll hinge on a lot of this show hinge on him. If it if they go the route, a lot of people are scared of. Because again, modern media is about morally gray heroes and morally gray bad guys. Uh, or I'm red, but I'm only red because Somebody wronged me when yeah. I was a kid. Like, mm, well, I'm not evil just for evil's sake. I'm evil because I want to be. <laughs> Hopefully, they let him just be. He's got a clear, like Thanos, a clearly defined goal, objective, and understanding. And he's he's, he's okay with being evil about it. Right. Thanos is like, I, I'm going to kill half the universe because I want to kill half the universe because there's not enough food for everybody. Yeah. And he, he's, he's going to be evil for that purpose. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see. Yes. You know, uh, final thoughts on our Star Wars is getting horrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sigh. Sigh. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what I got to say. Sigh. <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out. Um, we'll watch the show on June 24th. When it comes June, 4th. Out. June 4th. Why not May the 5th? Or May the fourth. Oh, well, May the fifth is Revenge of the Fifth. Mm -hmm. May the fourth be with you, Revenge of the and Fifth. And Cinco de Mayo. If it's going to be, all right. Hey, Star Wars, you gotta learn how to release stuff. <laughs> and I think um, May fourth is on a Saturday this year. <laughs> Whatever. All right. So June fourth, we'll check out the show, and we'll see if we can finish. If we can finish the show again. Well, oh yeah. So we didn't finish this sequel trilogy. Nope. <laughs> so, I watched the first one. Was done. Yeah. It's like ah, oh, it's enough. All right, well, thank you again, my lovely daughter. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> if there is a next time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Banned by YouTube. <laughs> uh -huh.